Hi everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back with another video. I'm gonna do this like a Wednesday <laughs> with me um, DIY. And Lila is here today, so you're gonna hear a commotion in the background. So, what I was gonna do is I was just gonna do a simple one today. I have another one planned out, but I'm probably gonna start on it, but show you like next week the end result. So, anyways, you know, I bought these from the Dollar Tree. They're just the um, tapestry placemats and I purposely bought one of each <laughs> I purposely bought one of each because I wanted it to be like a flip pillow so you can flip it to one side and it be something completely different so here come here. look there she is <laughs> okay, girls gotta get busy. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've went through and I've hot glued all the sides except for one. And that's the side I'm going to stuff some stuffing in. So it's just going to be kind of a simple, easy, um, I'm not going to throw it in the washer or the dryer kind of pillow, you know. I'll just kind of spot clean it if it needs it. But anyways... I'm going to go ahead and put some of this um, filler in it. This filler I got, I think I got it at the auction, honestly. And I think it was in with a bunch of stuff at the auction. So I can't tell you how much it costs, but they do have filler like this. Last time I looked, they had it at Walmart. But I know they have it at Joann's too. So I'm just basically going to pull some it out of it. And shove it into there so I'm gonna put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing okay <laughs> so yeah just sticking some stuff from the bag down into here look it looks like cotton candy but not really no it's it's not it's, it's not cotton candy. Grandma was teasing. So, no. Okay, so, yeah, we're still going. You know, <laughs> like I've said before, if uh, you don't have a two-year-old in your life, you're missing out. And it started at like 3.30 this morning. I don't know why she got up that early. My grandma was like, no. But she said, yes. So we've been going all day. But good thing is, is I got my steps on my Fitbit for sure. And then some. So I'm going to kind of make it like a flat type of pillow and this is just I mean gosh I don't know how much it would take just to I want to say these bags this stuff is probably six eight dollars but you could like use an old pillow if you wanted to and just tear it apart and um, use that and you know what there are pillows at Ikea that I seen recently for like I think it was 99 cents so you can just tear apart an old pillow or a cheap pillow and use the filling out of that for it. So I'm not going to make it very floofy, floofy if you will, because I don't want it to be floofy. I want it to be kind of like a flat type of pillow. Hope you guys are having a good day. What the heck is this in the middle of this? Hmm. Poly stuffing tool. What's that mean? Push the fiber firmly in position using the stuffing tool. What? You guys, this is not a stuffing tool. This is like a dowel rod. <laughs> it's seriously. I did not even know that was in there. Okay, so I'm going to use my poly stuffing tool. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh gosh, it works. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just use my hands. So, boy, just a little bit more. As I said, I didn't want to keep you on the video for a long time. 
like I did last time. You know, she can sing like that all day long. But when Grandma starts singing, she starts going shh, shh, and shushes me every time. I think maybe she don't like my singing. Good person, no. Put on that positive. It's mine. She's in there picking on Grandpa right now. So, yeah, I don't know. I think this is going to be about it. But I just want to get a little more down at this corner. Looks funny right there. There we go. All right, now we're going to... Mostly. Mostly. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the glue gun and trace right along here. And, you know, I've already um, burnt myself once. I hot glued my fingernail to my um, thumb. So there is that. It's already happened. <laughs> so we're fixing to find out what else I can do. I'm trying to just do a little bit at a time. Ooh, that's hot. You see that steam? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Steamy. These do make really cute little pillows, like little tapestry pillows, I guess, if you will. And after after I get this glued together, I'll show you how much of that fill that I use because I don't feel like I hardly used any of it to make a pillow. You know, really, you can go to Joann's and get uh, material that's on sale all the time. All the time. Whew, I almost burnt myself there. Um, and it's outdoor materi material, I think, right now. So if you want to make outdoor pillows, yeah. Perfect. I'm going to take this little pokey thing and get that extra glue off of there. guess you shouldn't have been over there now grandma's got a mess to clean up as soon as I'm done that's been all day as soon as I finish one mess there's another one pick them up for grandma over there in the corners no she's gonna take off with it and then make a bigger mess with for me <laughs> she um <laughs> over in the corner over there is is where i um keep all my Organizing tubs and things like that. And she just knocked on another thing. Go. Let's go. Where are we going? Let's go. <laughs> no. Grandma's doing something. Let's go. Grandpa, help me out, would you? Come on, baby. <laughs> Come get her, Grandpa. Just for a few minutes. Where are you going? Where do you want to go? Grandma's almost done. Hey. Where do you want to go? You'd be surprised on how well this hot glue works, too. You know, it's not going to hold up washing machine or dryer, but it'll hold up for use. Usage. You guys enjoyed my last video with a little bit of Walmart, a little bit of Ikea, and a little bit of Lila too. <laughs> so, and we've been watching the Land Before Time DVDs all day. All day, and she's not had a nap. <laughs> so, Grandma's tired. 
Grandma's tired. Sorry, Let me shut this off really quick. Okay, I just want to show you how much of the polyfills left. Right, is this yeah. up here? Yeah, I barely it. used any out of this no. bag. Go, go. Barely. A little bit goes a long way. This bag is, uh, what size is this bag? A one pound bag. And it's made in the USA. So that's always a good thing. Okay, let me show you what I have. Pretty easy little pillow. It says Merry Christmas on this side. Or you could just flip it around. I actually really like that. Now I wish I would have bought two so I could make a set. Hey, they're still next time at the Dollar Tree if I can find them. Usually whenever you want something at the Dollar Tree, you got to get it then because it won't be there when you go back. So that's it. That's how easy that was. Nice, simple little DIY. I really like it. It's nice and smushy. I'll give you a sneak peek to um, a couple upcoming DIYs, which I'm going to work on one now. I found this birdhouse that I had upstairs for years. You can't put it outside because it's like, I don't know. What's it called? Balsa. I don't know. False wood. I don't know. But anyways, um, I thought I would just kind of paint it up like a gingerbread house. Put it in my kitchen for decor. She's over there having a blast. And um, so I was just going to paint with this Waverly chalk paint. See how well it comes out of the sides and just leave the top white and these little things white and then do like little candy designs i'll kind of show you i got some of it setting over here um i mean i don't know how well this is going to work i thought about using these of course nothing's set in stone i thought about using these and these kind of like for that or I got a few of the different colors of the fabric paint, the 3D fabric paint. So I can do little, I don't know, dots on there if I need to. We shall see. We shall see. So that's one upcoming that I'll probably just go ahead and start working on today, maybe, depending on what she's doing. Then, I'll show you some pieces. I'll show you some pieces to one that I'm not sure how it's going to go together yet. These are some pieces to a different DIY. Um, here's an old uh, Berry Bell set that has little rustic stars on there. So there's that. Then I have a couple of strands of this natural jute rope. Probably add some of the white rope too. Um, then I'll probably take these little ear antlers off and just use this part. Um, and I don't know if I'll use this one or this one, but I got a couple, so buddy can have some too. But yeah, that's like an another upcoming DIY that I'm gonna be working on, so I just thought I'd show it to you. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you enjoyed this very quick DIY. Very quick, very easy. Um, so if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, and I, I got a little bit of a mess to pick up, so I will um, catch you guys later. Please stay safe and take care of yourself.